Hey, everybody, this is Birch. Um, I, I guess here's what I want to talk about. So I'm going to get to the thesis first, and then, uh, you know, I'll ramble on for a little bit. So you can pretty much get the thesis. You can decide whether you agree or not or want to pay attention to the ramble or just want to comment at that point. It's totally up to you. Um, but uh, here's my, my general point. In comic books, almost always, the quality of the comic book is equal to what you probably think of the creator. And so if that is true, why not just focus on the comic book and whether it's good or bad than the creator? That's my, my, that's my thesis. So now to explain that a little bit, um, you know, you take a creator like a Danny Lore, okay? And there's lots and lots of videos out there about Danny Lore. And they're talking about Danny Lore's crazy Twitter and <clears throat> Danny Lore talks about you know, how uh, the Israelis are martyrs and, you know, all kinds of, you know, crazy stuff, right? On Danny's Twitter account. And people do videos on that. And then kind of in the middle of the video, they drop this idea that, uh, oh, by the way, the comics suck. And, you know, I think, you know, every, by the way, everything's subjective. Objective, everything's subjective. But I would agree. I do not enjoy those comics. You know, that uh, Blade's Daughter comic. It's terrible, in my opinion. Terrible. It wasn't well-written. It wasn't well-paced. There wasn't really any drama to it. I don't need to get into the fact that, you know, it's uh, you know, a person of color. Somebody did a video about, like, oh, great. So the new Blade is a person of color. Well, it's Blade's Daughter. So what the hell else did you think it would be? Did you, was it, was it supposed to be a Asian man? I mean, like what Blade is black. His daughter is black. Like, I, I don't understand that criticism quite frankly, but anyway, um, people are going in and on and on about, you know, how this is, uh, this, this person has a really obnoxious, really toxic Twitter feed. And that's true. You know, by the way, one of the weirder things that I've seen is, uh, I made a joke if you follow me on Twitter a long time ago, where I had one of the panels from the new Punisher. And in this panel, I erased the words, because this is a bit I've done, and I inserted a tweet from Danny Lore. Okay? Something Danny had posted on, is it, is it her there? I'm not being sarcastic. I honestly, I'm, you know, if you've been listening to this channel for a long time, you asked me to do you know, if you ask me to call you something, I will do it. You know, whether I think it's uh, good or dumb or not, you know, I, I generally, this is, if you travel the world a lot, you often get a lot of, you know, this is, uh, you know, Hiroki-san, or this is kanai or whatever it happens to be. And you just, you know, it uh, doesn't mean anything to you. Who cares? You, you, you call it by what they ask. I'm okay with that. I don't care. And I don't want to be thrown in jail if I get it wrong, but otherwise I will try and pay the respect to the person. I mean, that's, that, that does not bother me. So I asked him, but, but I posted uh, Danny's comments in this com in this, uh, comic panel and, uh, the writer got all pissed off saying, you know, how dare you say something anti-Semitic in one of my panels. Then a few weeks later said, Danny is one of my favorite people. It's like, dude, who do you think? Right. Anyway. It just stuff drives you crazy if you think about it long enough. Regardless. My point is, if I'm going back to the thesis, is that if the comic sucks, the comic sucks. I, I don't, you know, is the Twitter account also toxic? Sure. But does that really matter if the comic sucks? Like, to me, you failed there. There isn't a, uh, a part two here. There isn't a, well... You know, the comic sucks, but what what's really bad is the Twitter feed. No, to me, the comic sucks is the cardinal sin. It's a it's a shitty comic. It's badly written. It's just bad. Therefore, I don't I don't need to know more. We're we're done. And to me, this would simplify a lot of comments about comics because remarkably, the occasions where you have a complete and absolute asshole on social media. You know, for a couple of years now, we've done the, 
you know, people should be good to their customers. And I, I, I agree, by the way, I think you should be. It's, it's, it's just good common sense. But if your comic sucks, do I care if you have a nice Twitter feed? I don't. You can be the nicest person in the world. If you're writing a shit ass comic, then I- I'm not going to buy your comic. It doesn't matter how nice it is. Um, I, I, or how nice a person is, you're done at that point. And so, therefore, why, you know, I, I understand that, by the way, I'm not saying you shouldn't say if somebody's got a horrible customer service mentality. You're welcome to do it. And and I agree with you on principle. I do. But if the comic also sucks, we're done, right? Like at that point, the game is over. I I don't need more. Now, occasionally you have people who are, you know, who are tricky. So Mark Wade will post some, you know, lunatic crazy shit on, on social media. But his world's finest comic is pretty good. So that that's a dilemma. Now I have to go, well, all right, so the comic is entertaining. I like reading it, but the human being behind it is, is crazy. That's a conundrum. But here's the thing. That is the exception, not the rule. The vast majority of people that you complain about, the people who are complete asshats, also happen to write shit comics. And so, therefore, do I care about the Twitter behavior? I, 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 don't, I don't necessarily care about the Twitter, Twitter behavior because this person has no business writing comics. I, I ask you this question. I'm asking you in the spirit of being genuine. Um, would you rather somebody was fired from a job because they had a... Or... Because they wrote horrible comics that nobody wanted to read and didn't sell. I would rather than be fired for doing a shit job, not their social media feed. I acknowledge the fact that the person is writing good content, um, and but is a complete you know lunatic. Uh, that is that is tough, and generally speaking, I think good customer behavior is important and should win out. But lucky for us, all of us. We don't really have to wrestle with that dilemma very often because um, the comics are awful. And when the comics are awful, uh, you, you just you, you just get to be done at that point. Now, by the way, I understand this a little bit like uh, making the argument of how many angels can dance on the head of the pin. It's um, it, it may be just pedantic, or it, it, you know, I'm, I'm arguing semantics. I acknowledge that, but. I guess the thing I'd like to draw your attention to is if you think about like, like mags, somebody like mags who has just atrocious social media behavior, does mags make good comics you want to read? No, like for me, no. So to me, it's a very easy decision of like, Hey, are you going to buy this mags comic? I go, no. Because, uh, the, you know, the track record and the writing is pretty bad. I don't enjoy the comic. I, it's not for me. So, therefore, I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to support it. And you probably shouldn't give that person a high-profile job on anything because they're going to drive the sales into the ground. Um, so, when somebody adds in, like, yeah, but did you see Mags's Twitter feed? I mean, sure. That's like the cherry on top, I guess. I don't care. I really, really thoroughly don't care. Um, I, I care even less about that than I do about editing my videos. And so, hey, my voice sounds really terrible. Does it to you? Is it coming through? It sounds awful to me. Anyway, I don't know. I'm, I'm dying here slowly. Um, anyway, that's, that's my thesis. So I'm really curious to get your opinion. And I, I'm, I also want to put this thought in your head. How many of the the creators, the writers that we talk about all the time, they've got tons of videos out there, constant, constant videos. Um, how many of them write good comics? Uh, the answer is very, very few. It's kind of an interesting question. Like, who does? Like, like, like he's Mark Wade. I think most people would say, well, Mark Wade does produce some good comics, so therefore, 
you know, uh, that one's tricky. But the majority, you're awful, just awful. So, um, so what do you make of that? Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Like and subscribe, of course, and thanks for listening. Thanks.